Good afternoon, everybody, from sunny Yuma, Arizona. There are some clouds around, but, you know, still in the 60s, so uh, it feels warm. <laughs> anyway, this is actually Monday, but you're seeing it on Tuesday. <laughs> because I know you're all just, what's the word, it inundated with mask videos to watch today. So I was sitting around telling Bob, you know, we're kind of out of our snacks that we had over the holiday, you know, and I feel like eating something. So when I go down to the the, the office to get our mail, if it's not something else I need to record, we'll do the, uh, what is it, the snack crate box that came last week. We'll be something to snack on. So, of course, he's all for that. <laughs> well, I went down, and uh, you tell me which thing you think we chose to do. Here's, of course snack crate or oh, I better this other one's heavy old fudge <laughs> you guessed it we're doing the old fudge now of course I have my uh, my sidekick o over here the peanut gallery as you all know him by aka Bob and uh, he's not gonna turn down any fudge to try so even though he's not a real big sweet eater he he likes his homemade fudge stuff. So, let's get started. Okay, I've got a big knife to cut it. I don't want to use that on the package, though. Let's see. Where my scissors? Now, this uh, this comes up in from uh, my our home state up in, in Washington, and I had tried. Oh, great, it's taped up really well. You know what that means. I had tried this fudge and did a video on it several months ago, but it wasn't something I wanted to have coming to the house every month for obvious reasons. Well, during the holiday here, when I saw an ad for it, I thought, oh, perfect time. So I ordered some, and here it is. I'm going to put this on hold for a second because this box is going to be really difficult for this old grandma to open. So we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Well, the first thing I see is a thank you so much for your order with us. We truly appreciate any opportunity to serve you. We value every time you choose us for a purchase. Please email, message, or call us if you need anything at all. All of us here at O Fudge by Ann, and you can follow them on Instagram at O Fudge by Ann. Of course, the little thing on it. So, uh, and here is the, uh, let's stay packed a, uh, packing slip here. Prices aren't on it, <laughs> but what they have, I think they're about, each piece of fudge is about $12.99, but if you buy three, one, two, three, three, you get a fourth one free. Plus, they send you uh, a free, uh, Oh, I've got five here. Anyway, supposedly they send you some of their cookies. So let's get started. Oh, wow. Oh, mama. This is their almond bliss fudge. And I expect it to have a little bit of almonds in them. Maybe a little almond flavor. I love those flavors. So let's let's open this up. Oh, it opened very easily. I hope this knife isn't too big. <laughs> this is a Meissen knife. I love this thing. It cuts so well. And I got this after my daughter Michelle Escalin, who you uh, a lot of you are uh, subscribers to, did a review on a Meissen knife. They, they asked her if she would review one, and she got one free. <laughs> but I got one discounted. <laughs> so let's see if we can cut this very easily. Because I think my regular knives would be hard to cut it with. And this is not the easiest, even though it's a real sharp knife. Let's see, I don't want to cut too big a piece for each of us to test. If you start seeing blood splattering, you know that... It slipped. 
Okay. Let's see. Napkin. There you go. Oops. <laughs> I dropped on the floor. It stuck to your hand. It stuck to my hand and landed on the floor. Do you want a different piece? I'm going to eat this. You're not going to eat that? I'll eat that one. I don't care. It's probably got hair all over it. I'll get the hair off. Keep your napkin. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, a few pieces of hair. But you know, I'm always peeling hair off my mouth and lips anyway. So, <laughs> I am not wasting this. <laughs> Here you go. That's good. It almost, to me, see what, what you think, honey, tastes like there's a coconut in it. I mean, not tastes like it, but the texture tastes, you know, feels like there's coconut. See, do they have ingredients in that? Oh, they do. Let's see if I'm right. Take my napkin. Of course, I can't read it. <laughs> They're too tiny. Mm. Sugar, brown sugar, chocolate butter, chocolate li liqueur, soy lecithin, marshmallow cream, which has corn syrup, egg whites, water, xanthan gum, lactic acid, evaporated milk, uh, eggs, butter, cream, milk, salt, walnuts, pecans, almonds, peanuts, peanut butter, caramel, vanilla, alcohol, vanilla, vanilla, uh, coconut. <laughs> Can't sneak it by me. So, in other words, a lot of ingredients, which means, as you know, it's going to be very good. Let's see, where can I put this? Right here, you know, in the, in the living room, so I don't have as much. Well, I do have more room. <laughs> I just come on the little table. Oh, but still have all the Christmas stuff up, so it's lid out of your way. Stay down. The next one mm, is chocolate peanut butter combo fudge. Now, Bob is a peanut butter addict. So that's why I decided to get the peanut butter. Plus, I like it, too. <laughs> but, you know, I want to please my man. Let me, uh, I'm, I'm emptying the box because it's just getting in the, in the way. Okay, so let's try the peanut butter combo fudge. It's very smooth on the top. How did you like the first one? It said it was good. Did you uh, detect that there was coconut, too? Yeah. You can't fool or slip in sweets and candy experts, you know, ingredients that you don't want them to uh, know about. Though I don't think they want, didn't want us to know about it. It's just I picked up on it. Okay. It's kind of, the kind of you know, hard to get it out. No, there's much peanut butter. Here, hon. Didn't get too much peanut butter on it. Didn't drop that one. Of course, this isn't all that we will have to eat of it today. <laughs> but we, we wanted you all to have the benefit of trying it with us and see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What'd you think? Good. Good? Yeah. You probably didn't get too much peanut butter, though. Mm -hmm. mm. So far, this is my favorite. Then we have what they call tiger, bu tiger butter fudge. I won't read all the ingredients on that one because I don't have a mystery that I'm trying to figure out. So let's get this one open. And this one, as you can see, it's got three different colored layers. Looks like peanut butter, chocolate, and whatever this white is. Probably white chocolate. 
up the check. I just thought it was pretty. I should have brought over a little thing of water to dip this knife in after each cutting so that it would wouldn't stick so much. <laughs> okay. I'll take this first one and give him the second one because I think it'll have more of the flavors. No, well, the white stayed in there. We start our diets next Monday, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what the other ones have in it. So, this must not be real accurate. <laughs> But I still like the uh, the peanut butter fudge one best. I guess these are nine ounces because it's got teeny tiny nine ounces on there. What you think, hon? That's good. Good. Then we have Rocky Road fudge. That means those are marshmallows. Let's cut at an end where there's marshmallows for sure. You know where Lucy is? It's her, uh, her nap time in the afternoons. And uh, truth be known, I think she's still a little hungover from Christmas. I think it's better, you know, if you have a spoon to scoop this out of. Here you go, baby. Okay, there's, uh, I can see, y'all. You know, Marshmallows and looks like walnuts. Let's do it this side and get it off. I don't want to. A lot of chocolate. And of course, I can taste the the walnuts because they're in there crunchy. But I don't really taste the marshmallows. What do you think on this one? It's good. Everything's always, it's good. Um, what doesn't he like to eat? I'll say that's in it. Oh, oh that's carrots. <laughs> so, oh, my still favorite one though, honey, and, and I don't know if you agree, is the peanut butter fudge one. So we've got one more fudge back here. Oh, and guess what it is? Peanut butter fudge. Mm. <laughs> we know we're gonna like this one. Should've gotten a spoon. Oh yeah, this one's real soft, real soft. <laughs> you know, like scooping it out of peanut butter jar, which Bob uses spoons and always scoops out of peanut butter jars. So we'll probably end up using a spoon on this one. Come on, baby. Okay, here it goes. It's not very hard. No, that's why I said it's soft. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Nice and soft. Very good. What'd you think, honey? 
I mean, it's, it's not very, very hard. <laughs> I like the chocolate peanut butter one the best. He likes the chocolate peanut butter one the best. So do I, but I'll try to save that for last. Save the best for last, and then we'll eat up all the others first. So we'll probably have that chocolate by tomorrow. If you... <laughs> mm. Got to move on to the other things they sent that won't be as icky, you know, icky to touch. Okay, then they sent this container full of... I see. I see in there. Oh, I got some chocolate on me. <laughs> this is full of the, what they call their famous peanut butter cookies. And they always send some of these along with your order, too. Or did I order them this way? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> but it sounds like something I would do. If they've got peanut butter cookies on there, I'll order one. So let's see. We'll take one. Control ourselves to one for this minute. Put it back in the container. There you go. I'm interrupting his reading. But you know, I hate to say this, but I like the taste of the McDonald's ones better. <laughs> Sorry, Anne. There's something about the McDonald's ones. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. What'd you think, hon? It's okay. Yeah. Like it is. It's okay. And then they sent. Okay, I must have bought the cookies <laughs> because here's their sample when they sent. There's one cookie down there. It's a chocolate chip. But then they also send a um, they also send another cookie. I don't think it's the kind you cook up yourself, but. It's pretty hard. And it's got a, uh, oh, a little tiny piece of chocolate walnut fudge. Excuse me. And a tiny piece of buttercream fudge. So it looks like they, they fit whatever they can in this little container and they get to you free. Why isn't it not fitting back in there right? <laughs> so, what do y'all think? Anybody want to come visit me this afternoon? <laughs> I mean, look at this. Where to go? You can see the size of the box. And so they had to pay... Um, no, it doesn't show on there. They're not... Any, anyway... You know, but with the weight, like I say, it was pretty, it was pretty weighty. <laughs> so, so pretty, pretty, quite a good deal. So, comments down below. Like if you like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And tell them anxious to get off. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Gotta eat some more. <laughs> so, I hope you all are having as good a Monday as we now are. And uh, like I say, you'll see this. I'll have it post. I'll go edit it now, and it'll post first thing in the morning. So you'll see it first thing in the morning. We're having a good start of the week. Uh, still bad hair because I still need to get it cut. Maybe next week. Oh, to those of you who've been asking, so far I got my COVID results back, and I'm negative. Bob's didn't come back yet, but... He has absolutely no symptoms whatsoever, and it's, it'll be seven days tomorrow that he was near his dad, and I really don't think his dad had it. Because one other time, the same place tested him, and first it came positive, they did another one immediately, and it came up, you know, the other one was a false positive. So, 
that's what I'm counting on. So, uh, but I'll let you know when we do find out if Bobby's caught it, but I'm sure he doesn't. So, again, I love you all. Bye.